I'll be showing you step by step how to make a sticky announcement bar in your Shopify Dawn theme. So instead of being removed when a user scrolls, it's going to stay fixed at the top of the page. We'll be using Shopify Dawn's default announcement bar here, so you won't need any external apps in this video. This is going to require a custom bit of code here, so make sure you stay with me step by step. So we're going to start things off from our Shopify dashboard. And once you're here, you want to navigate to the online store section on the left hand side. So if I scroll over online store and I click on that, it should open up the Shopify theme section by default. Now, before we make these changes, I'm always going to recommend that you click these three dots here and hit duplicate. This would create an exact copy of your current theme. So if you make any mistakes, you can easily restore this older version. Next, what we want to do is click on the three dots again, but this time we're going to go to edit code. This will open up the Shopify code editor for our specific version of our theme. What we want to navigate to is a file called base.css. If we go to the top left hand side here, I click into the search bar and I'm going to type in base.css. This is going to be a style sheet here. And if I go underneath assets, I can see it as base.css. And so we're going to add some custom code to the bottom here. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. I'm going to hit enter a few times to create some space. And I am going to zoom in just so you can see what I'm writing here. So I'm going to write hashtag or number symbol curly brackets, a left one and a right one. I'm going to write the code first and we'll go grab the actual selector here in a sec, but it's quite long. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do that afterwards. I'm going to write position semicolon sticky exclamation point important. I'm not sure exactly what this symbol is called here, but it's the other symbol that's on the semicolon key. If I hit enter again, I'm going to write top semicolon zero than the same closing key or closing tag. So next let's go and get the exact ID here that we're going to be selecting. So if I head back to my Shopify theme here, what you wanna do is right click on the announcement bar of your store, go down to inspect. If I click on inspect here, this is going to open up the inspection element. I'm doing this in Chrome right now, but it's, you should see a bunch of HTML code here under elements. I'm gonna zoom in just so you can see exactly what I'm copying. But if you right clicked on the announcement bar, you should see a highlighted element called announcement bar. Now we're going to move up a few elements here and you should see another section that says Shopify dash section dash sections dash dash a numeric code underscore underscore announcement bar. So if we double click into this element here, it should select all of it for us. And I'm just going to copy this ID selector. So I'm going to copy this here. But again, you are right clicking on the announcement bar going down to inspect. I would recommend doing this in Chrome. It should highlight the announcement bar by default. If we go up several elements, we should see a Shopify dash section dash section section. So again, just copy this ID here and let's head back to our previously open tab in our base.css file. Now to the right of this number sign, I'm going to click on paste. And again, in our curly brackets, we have position, semicolon, sticky, space, exclamation point, important. And then below that, we have top, semicolon, zero. So let's finalize these changes now by clicking on save in the top right hand side. So if I go open up a preview of our theme, that should be done now. So I'm going to reload the page. And now if I scroll, I can see my announcement bar is following me down and it is stuck to the top here as usually it would disappear upon scroll. So we did it there. We created a sticky announcement bar in the Shopify Dawn theme. Before I go, I want to mention our sponsor Profit Calc. It's the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. So you can skip those spreadsheets and get one click calculations. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations, profit metrics and analytics. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest and TikTok. And it's going to give you a ton of different analytics and metrics so you can start making smarter business decisions with your store. You can find it in the Shopify app store. Just looking for this logo in the top left here, Profit Calc. There's also a link in the description below where you can get access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So this concludes the video here. I hope this helped. It did take a little bit of custom code to make it stuck to the top of our header. If you enjoyed this video and it helped, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.